All right, guys, this is a long awaited video. I got it up and edited. I'm doing my chocolate chip muffins and I'm also doing a bonus of strawberry white chocolate muffins as well. And I will kind of talk through it and show you guys exactly what I have here. We're going to start from the left with the two and a half cups of flour, one cup of chocolate chips, which is a mixture of semi sweet and milk chocolate, two large eggs. We have one fourth cup of sugar two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda inside of this little bowl. We have two teaspoons of vanilla, a half a cup of white chocolate, three fourths cup of sour cream, 10 strawberries in this bowl that I mashed and added some honey to and kind of parade them. And then we have two sticks of melted butter, Next, we have some pink Himalayan salt, and it's a fourth of a teaspoon. You can use any salt of your choice. And then what I forgot to put out was a third, three-fourth cup of milk. You will see that in this video. So let's get this started. So here I have two dozen of the muffin pans ready, and I'm going to preheat my oven to 400. Now we're going to get started sifting all the dry ingredients together. So you're going to put the salt, the sugar, the baking soda, the baking powder, which is in there, and the flour, and you're going to sift it into a bowl as I'm doing here to remove all of the lumps. This ensures that you have fluffy muffins. The next step is adding all the wet ingredients, and this is where you will be putting the actual 3 4 cup of milk as well, which is what I forgot. So we're going to put all the wet ingredients, the eggs, the butter, the milk, <laughs> the milk, and also the vanilla is going to go into this bowl, and it's going to be whisked very well. Now, don't be alarmed because it will will look like curded milk, but that is okay. That is what you want it to look like, that is fine. Next is a little tip I like to share. I like to put about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half into the chips and that coats the chips and makes the chips float with inside the muffin instead of sinking to the bottom. You ever made something with chocolate chips and it sinks to the bottom? So that's the curded mixture I told you about. Now we're gonna mix the wet and the dry ingredients together. So see how it looks like cottage cheese, yellow cottage cheese? That's fine guys, keep moving with it. So now we're gonna mix this all together. As you see, um, it's going to look really thick and this is when if you feel that you need some more milk You can add milk into this mixture right here So I just added a little more and I continue to blend it until it became smooth Now next I'm going to separate about um, half of this into another bowl And that is because I'm doing the chocolate chips in one bowl And then I'm going to do the strawberry and white chocolate in another bowl So that's all I'm doing is separate Now if you're not going to be using a different mixture Or a different making a different muffin You can do everything in one bowl and just put your chocolate chips in No big deal But that's why I separate it And guys I do not like these chocolate chips You'll see why at the end This was something I tried I do not recommend all these white chocolate chips they do not melt good not good at all so I'm just mixing the white chocolate chips and the strawberries in one bowl and as you see I have the bowl with the chocolate chip mix in the other bowl All right, guys, so now it's time to put the mix in the liners. Now, these are the strawberry white chocolate. These have the fruit in them. And because of that, it does an interaction with the baking powder, which allows the muffin not to rise as high as it would if it didn't have fruit in it. So if you want these to be more fluffier, I would say omit some of the strawberries. I put 10. I would say use about five strawberries for about 12 muffins and, you know, puree it and get it really nice and thin so it can evenly spread amongst your muffins. So, yeah these will not rise as much so next we have the chocolate chip and as you see i'm not going to put as much of the chocolate chip um mix as i did the strawberry and you can see the difference because the strawberry is still sitting on the side of how much i'm putting in here and how much are in the strawberry ones and then at the end you'll definitely see the difference in the rise So here you're going to see me start to put chocolate chips on top. I save some to the side just so I can put them on the top because I love to see them on top of my muffins. Now it's time for the muffins to go in the oven and I put them on the second rack right next to each other. And they're going to go in there for 
12 minutes guys so as I was cooking I was also cleaning at the same time and then the remaining dishes I cleaned while I was waiting for my muffins and they are ready to come out let's see how good they look guys All right, guys, so you can see the difference. You always want to check with a toothpick, and if it comes out clean, that means they are done. So now I'm taking them after they set in the muffin pans for about five minutes. I'm going to put them on a cooling rack and let them sit for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Some of us like to eat these hot, and we just go for them, but that's the best way to cool them to ensure you're not burning anyone's mouth. So you see the difference between the height of the strawberry and the chocolate chip, and we're going to show you what the inside of these look like. Now, I was a little disappointed at both both morsels they didn't seem to give that shiny good melted morsel look like they normally do but they were still good but the white were actually kind of hard guys so definitely look at the expiration dates on your morsels no matter where you buy them from and definitely do not try the Aldi's white chocolate they were not a go for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up this video and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a video that I put out and I will see you guys later gators